I got stuff turned up so I can hear the uh, system map when I'm looking for planets. Do we have any more people quit? I think somebody, I don't know. One or two. Frameshift drive charging. Let me at least get to this next system. I'll scan the star and then I'll find where in that video the uh, jump was. Four, three, two, one, engage. boy. This, this should be the one here. Alright. I'll save y'all trouble having to search. This is the uh, first night, so that's got... The intro, the launch, which I did not manage to land down for. I actually thought I had a pretty decent intro for that. Were you in the big channel for that? Uh, yes. You don't I'm hear right. it. Well, I think. I mean, guy was in channel talking. But you don't hear All that right. until about three minutes in because I was doing that space. Short little intro yeah, speech. Expanse. Our universe is theorized to be a flat plane of infinite size. Somebody in that universe, uh, astronomers estimate a over 100 of billion galaxies what? exist. Audio is Our galaxy, the, been muted? the Milky Way. Yeah, it's because I was listening to 100 the sound track in the background. All orbiting Dude. through a massive black hole called Sagittarius. They're gonna a. ban you for all the life. A historic fleet of over 800 explorers has assembled to retrace the steps of the DSS Beagle the first ship to reach the other end of the galaxy. So to load up. This expedition will take us through 12 weeks of travel and exploration. Our destination, Beagle Point, the final planet in the DSS Beagle's initial voyage, and some 65,000 light years from Sol. What mysteries and dangers await our fleet? I am Commander Goose Egley, pilot of the Galaxy Runner, and I, along with several others, be chronicling our adventures. Join us on our voyage to distant worlds. User left your channel. I know how to pilot that. Alright, let's see what this purple cloud you're talking about. Oh, what? No, oh, handbrake. Alright, let's see this cloud you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, that was the one I was talking about. We're, uh, disconnected from your channel. it's gone straight to Hull. I, I would try to line myself up here. What's up? Having a head, I couldn't give it any, anything to go forward. I'm gonna check that right. out in a sec. I know how to pilot that. Or just watch you go. Oh, sorry, dude. I, I keep thinking of hearing me. I'm going to jump off the way I'm facing. you want to come. Alright, Augie, what you're looking for is at 3 hours, 50 minutes. Sweet. Alright, so am I going to follow you through the jump? Or <laughs>
It's up to you. What do you think? I'm gonna jump far. I'm gonna use my jet. Let me uh catch you from. All right, you see the way I'm looking? Yep. All right, that's where I'm gonna be. That's where okay. I'm gonna be. Hang on a second. Let me uh let me scooch a little farther forward. And I'm actually going to switch to uh, camera mode here. All right, I'll do my best to get you a good shot. Here we go. Three, two, one. may not have been Michael Bay's quality, but it was a shot. <laughs> um, this stream will be archived. This stream will be archived on my Twitch, so you can... Uh, Dear God, this is insane. What's up? Having a hard time controlling it? set up my uh, my jump how much of your hole did you bust up on that still falling still falling oh I landed 72 percent 72 percent yeah I'll take a fast video of you falling hold on let me figure out what the quick button for that is that's fine. I'm telling you, saying turning off my shield. Antimony. Oh, for reference, when I docked my thing, my uh, hull got repaired, but ammo and fuel did not. I feel not like breaking into the song. Julie Andrews. Yeah, alright, then, Mary Poppins. Alright, my video captured F9. I'm ready. So let me know and I'll hit that button. Just a worthless piece of shite. Alright, I'm gonna try to line myself up here now. Right down on you. He doesn't say that in the movie, does he? <laughs> yeah, uh, no. Hello, Chester. Yes. You're my good buddy. Excuse me, please. Alright. Let's see Why if are I can. No um, shields don't do you any good on the planet. Oh, or, oh, really? Binary pair of 100% metal world. Uh, for deflecting incoming fire. Oh, so you think turning it off makes more power for something else? Yeah, like really, no uh, rock. No, turning I mean, it off no saves power at all. You drive it on metal. Anaconda, whoa. Okay. I, so I understand, because any time I have like, wrecked tried the to land shit on top out of this thing, um, I have not crashed into lost the any shields. It's gone straight to hull. Yeah. Where the hell are you? Who tried to land on you? Might as well kill the shields to make your fuel last longer. Alright, shall we? Like I found a Timothy, I'd go off the other planet it? now, but it's like, holy fuck. I am 1.5 kilometers. And like, it belly flopped before it deployed its landing gear, so it, it would have actually probably done damage. Alright, let's see if I can get you off the planet. Alright, let's see if I can get you off the planet. Alright, let's see if I can get you off the planet. Alright, I'm goosing it. Uh, go, go, go. Go, go. Go! This is gonna. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this this is bad. Ninety-one percent already. Oh man. Okay. Well, can I recover it? I I I I I'm recovering it a bit. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're uh. We'll, Yep, alright, we're golden. We're good. Oh, nope, nope, that was bad. 42% dude. <laughs> oh shit, how much? Oh! Still rolling. Yep, yeah, let me, oh, come on. Alright, let me roll the other way. Maybe I can get, maybe I can get some action out of that. Oh, this, this is bad. Almost, almost oh, right. there. 
Oh, almost there. All right, all right, all right. We're getting there. Sweet, man. Perhaps lets me do, uh, it does like 45 second videos, I think. Or maybe it's, it, it doesn't allow many. So I took two 45 second videos and we were following. Uh, I'm gonna hook you up here in a few minutes. I'll, I'll take care of that problem. But, all right, let me see if I can set her down and get her to quit moving around. Do you have driving assist off or on? Oh. Uh, Frameshift drive charging. <coughs> Was it as bad as it looked on your end, Augie? Frameship drive charging. Say again. Deuce, I just finished watching that video, man. You you got to the bottom of that flint thing with like 25% health. That was incredible. <laughs> that was fucked up. You did a much better job. I, I couldn't even see you once you got over the ledge. I thought that was... Like, once you went over the ledge, I figured that was it. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Like For me, it was falling for a while, and then you, you commented like, all right, what's it like on there? I'm like, I'm still falling. <laughs> <laughs> It's because once I saw you go over the edge, it's like, well, okay, I guess that's it. Let me line up. <laughs> that's hilarious, man. Here, I'll send you a link to the videos that I took if you want them. I think you're going to have to download them from my OneDrive cloud storage and uh, open them up with, like, a uh, VLC media player or something because they're not streaming very well from the, the media, from the cloud, though, for whatever reason. That's why. Kick me the links. I'll download them. I did find a water world in this system. That might be an earth like I hear there. Mm, there's usually no mite. Either you hear birds chirping or you don't. I'll have to listen back again. I heard a different, uh, kind of a higher pitch. Uh, it's going to be HMC. If you don't hear it chirping. User joined your channel.
User joined your channel. I'm to understand there's free candy involved? Yes, yeah, yeah go in the back of the person. van, sniff the rag, <laughs> and then take the free candy. Not really a sniff, but try to like... <laughs> take a deep breath. It's these special kind of caveats that make me just love Disney World. <laughs> this is... Oh my god. <laughs> Is that what you said to me when I first got in here? I didn't hear it at all, so I didn't respond. But that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Shit. It wants me to sign into OneDrive. It wants you to sign in just to view it, is that what you said? That's what it looks like. I'm trying to remember my OneDrive information. The information yeah. should be delete. That's all you need to know. Uh, OneDrive. User disconnected from your channel. Oh, so remember I told you I couldn't get EDD to work? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I forgot that I'm not running it through Steam. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. See, it's always the user's fault. Shut your mouth. What is this compressed folder you have in there? Oh man, I just threw it straight up from uh, apps into the cloud storage. I didn't, yeah, it was kind of weird. I didn't realize, I don't know what happened. I don't think it changed the file. I didn't think OneDrive did that. Maybe because it's so large. Yeah, they're both gigabyte files. I got something here that's 150 megabytes. Yeah, that one's like a, I think it's a two second video. I mean, I didn't really. How far of a drop it, is it? I never but, actually. Uh, I played the other two already. How far of a drop? They were. Oh, yeah, that was me. That was a video of me asking how far of a drop it was. Well, if it's downloading as a zip, that's probably. Oh, well, that one's an AVI file. So what was this with it being a zip? Yeah, that's kind of weird to me, but I don't really know how video transfers. I guess, would perhaps have recorded it like that in the first place? I don't know. No, now, the, <coughs> now they're downloading it as... Yeah, that's weird. Now they're downloading as Avis. Could have sworn I'd seen a zip in there somewhere. Alright, that's going to take a few minutes to download. I'm kind of curious yeah, to see what it is. pretty big. Fuel scooping. I think I can lower my craft record rate, but like the default is like 40 frames a second. That's a that's a maximal record, but that's that's a Fuel lot of data. Disengaged. Yeah, especially when with Avi, because Fraps does in a uh, lossless format, so or tries to. Fraps is like yeah, about two gigs a minute, really, depending on your settings. Fraps is great for getting some nice video, but if you're going to keep it, you got to run it through a video compressor or something. I haven't found a good video recording software. Like, even OBS, which I use for streaming, um, I haven't found settings that I like. Huh, that's interesting. You know, it warmed my heart how Windows 10 loves to hide certain programs. It's, it's, a, it's a special kind of thing. What, is, what, what? Are, you doing? are you doing? I don't even ask anymore. Huh? What do you mean, what am I doing? That's probably a good... That's a, that's a good uh, way to do things. It Carlos. sounded like you were smashing something with a beard trimmer. No, that's not... What? No. 
No. No. Dang, no, nabbit, that no. wasn't me. Dang, nap. I'm sure it wasn't. No, really, that really was not me. Like leaks. Is it? Is it <laughs> going off right now? No, someone already? else. Right there, that's someone else. I can hear it too. It's goose. Yeah, so fucking back off my shit here, sandwiches. What's goose? Noises. Strange loud noises. The crunchy noise. I'm not even marching. Sounds up like right now. gargoyles marching. Oh god. In unison. Yeah. Singing yeah. praise Kim Jong il. Alright, well y'all are hearing something right now. <laughs> it's not me because my mic wasn't queuing up. No, it was coming from you. What'd you hear? I think Nico's doing it. He's it trying like to throw crunchy. us off the scent. It was really crunchy. Like a bag of chips. Nah. User joined your channel. Nah, I finished all my chips. It might have been where I was scrubbing my eyeball. Bag of dicks, man. All right, there it is. All right, yeah, that was me running uh, again. I'm sorry, I'll scratch your eye. <laughs> Fucking accept your fate, you <laughs> asshole. Does anyone else know anyone who was streaming during the takeoff? Uh, Goose I heard was. Your mom was, bro. Hmm? Who was? Goose. Your mama. The Goose. The Goose, the one and only. Uh huh. Hey, real quick, what's that program called? Because it's fucking Windows 10 hit that shit. Uh, Captain's Log? Voice attack? No, Captain's not Log. Captain's Log, the other one. EDD Discovery. Thank you. Yeah, Goose, I didn't hear it on yours. Hear what? Fuck these shitty fucking games. Didn't you, uh, save a desktop item, uh, icon? The speech. No, but I'm going to from now on. I did. I did one at the very beginning of my first stream. No, no, I'm talking about the speech that I made. Someone asked me to get the audio for it, and I've just been searching for it. Oh. Uh, let me go back and see if I can find it. Cause you did that Thanks, once guys. we were already in space. I think Ooh, it was. Ring planets. I think it was two minutes, maybe three minutes after launch. Ah, uh, it might have been a little longer than that, but... I heard the speech is a good speech, and I did ring part it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just so... Thank you, I appreciate, appreciate the call in. Game sounds, uh, so I can hear you guys, but I... Is that, you. During the Thank week you, you said be, your speech was shit teary as possible. Shit teary? Thank you, thank you. He gets the waypoints, and we can get... Is a compliment? Uh, Wanna sing a little song? No, anything I say is just is love me tender. Shit, so. Love me sweet. What explorers do? I ain't doing any kind of things Explore. to you like Dang, that. Nabbit. Today we not only begin. All right. Uh, who what, who was asking about the vi uh, the audio? Pardon. Or Deets. Deets. All right. Um. Go to go to this link, and I I found p where the audio is, <clears throat> but I'm doing a download so my ability to scroll through the videos lowered. But Roger that. I know what's going on at 15 minutes 55 seconds. Thank you. Okay. Do I need? To... Okay. So I User need to. joined your channel. I need to find the net log. Uh... Thing, it's gonna be the same as Captain's log. User left your channel. Well, I mean, I you, was running that out of uh, Steam. This one actually, like, because it's gonna be the same. Horizon. It's... What? Is Captain's log working? Yeah, Captain's log. I mean, when I was using it, yeah. Well, then we're gonna yeah. run out I haven't of the used same... it since I downloaded it from. Uh, well, what the fuck's wrong with you? All right, give me a second. I'll I'll that? tell you the I'll tell and you the address. Why, huh? I can feel my look. I have a already. Steam look. I have a Steam install <laughs> and a fucking install all by itself. Because when Why? I'm on Horizon, it downloads. No, no, download. bypass pretty much right Why? here. Why? Because I couldn't fucking buy Horizon from Steam. Why? 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 Because I Why? couldn't. Why? 
Because they don't sell it piecemeal on Steam. Why? God, I fucking hate you. Shut up. <laughs> or maybe I won't, because Captain's Log just crashed on me. Really, it does that? I never had a problem. And I was trying to reconfigure, and it froze up and crashed. Could be because I have Elite Dangerous open. No. I don't know. My fucking TeamSpeak, if I go into change my audio settings in yes. TeamSpeak, it screws up. Yeah, man. Maybe it's all the video shit you're running. It could be, dude, but I got, I mean, I have shit that crashes. I, I, I mean, you know, this is like channel. Occam's Razor. I mean, let's look at the, you know, uh, Elite Dangerous, TeamSpeak, Captain's Lock. I mean, come on. OBS, about 20 tabs the, in Firefox. He's got a mediocre Intel processor. He can do it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just as I've said. Just as Bob did, so. Well, I hope I can do it. Hell, I'm running a hex core. Yeah, man, he has a hex core Intel processor. He, nothing can put that thing on its knees. He could probably run this game like twice. Well, and so uh, you'd you have to run Captain's The Witcher log? Three. I mean, come on. Uh, <laughs> he just wants to put it on his uh, knees. Like on Max, and then you'd need to run Elite Dangerous Horizons on Max, and then you'd need to run like several other games on Max. With a banjo maybe, on my knee. Maybe we can put it on. Actually, a major limiting factor. Then turn factor. on TeamSpeak, and if everything falls, you know it's TeamSpeak. Exactly. Yeah. The major problem I, I have mean, with TeamSpeak is always high latency. So. Uh, User left your channel. The only real problem with this rig is that I'm still running on eight gigs of RAM. Oh, in video. Yeah. Why? Oh. Would, like. If you have oh, a text oh. in 8 gigs of RAM, it's just like... Doesn't really... I think I have 16. You know, you know, not not to be offensive to anyone, but that's so gay. 8 gigs, come on. That's pretty much like sticking a penis in a butthole gay. I just remembered how hey, dumb hey, I sound over the internet. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's like sticking <laughs> the most handsome cock in the most ugly ass. That no. one from earlier. Don't bring up cancer, Alan Rickman has died from that. No, it's like the Dagobah story. <laughs> the great Look, Alan Rickman. I like, shut the why is it all why do you hate Alan Rickman and David Bowie? Let's put him on a fucking pedestal. Who hates David Bowie? Because one had an influence on a generation, the other is like an inconsequential actor. Look, I'm just saying Hans Gruber. I'm just saying, man. Oh yeah, Hans Gruber. Man, but he lived Who forever. said they hate David Bowie? Who? Nico. No one said they hate David <laughs> no, Bowie. No, I didn't say I. No, I didn't yeah, say I hated that's David much Bowie. What you said, man. I just want to know why David Alan Bowie, Rickman man. is not as his. You are hated by a genius. This IQ just plummeted by 20 points. <laughs> Sal, no. Stupider for Go away, Sal. Can someone no. Can someone actually you pull up the slowly but surely? Surely his IQ is reaching a point where Texas is going to be like, mm, I don't know if we should uh, execute this guy. No, I need somebody to get and the And here Billy we Madison go. When, <laughs> when I begin to question this man. Y yes. Just a Sal, I began to question you from the moment I met you. I already have questioned you, Big Nico. No, you haven't. And question. now I understand that you fucking hate David Bowie, one of the most influential people for this Whoa, generation. Fucking biped, you fucking shit asshole. What did I do? You fucking said I hated David Bowie. I didn't fucking say what? that. Question. I never said I hated David Bowie. I said, yeah. why does Alan Rickman not hate David Bowie? We know you hate David Bowie. Shut the fuck up! Is not what you got a problem with the uh, bisexual androgynous um, males? No. Oh my god, I'm I'm just... Maybe? <laughs> Bud, what'd you finish doing? <laughs> I hope you used the towel. What? I, I have lost respect. Oh goodness me. Not just lost respect, all respect. 
Exactly. You had anything? You had any to begin with? I uh, have very little. Now that's all gone. What you yeah, just that... said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I've ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response. God, no, I'm not letting you, Billy Madison, this fucking a time up. Thought. Stop. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to. You are awarded no points, and may God have mercy on your, your soul. soul. No, you're awarded zero points because I know you fucking looked that shit up just to go did. on fucking <laughs> Dude, feels privileged. I spent time just to look that up. Just to. I don't, don't feel privileged. Don't privileged. Don't I could have just called you a fuck and be done with it. Look, you should have. My bad, my bad, my bad. You, but no. When something is questionable and it comes from a questionable source, just don't look it up. You're doing yourself good by not looking it up, and you're doing yourself a lot of harm by doing the opposite. What? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, why I did not click on Bradford? What? Huh? Oh, they, I, I hate when you don't click on anything coherent in the galaxy map, but it's like, oh, it looks like you clicked on Bipad. Let's fucking throw Zoom you over there. <laughs> <laughs> just don't know how you can hate David Bowie so much. I mean, it's yes, just let's, a, let's it's keep, just a crime, let's keep, man. let's keep driving on that fucking old fucking soul. Well, we can oh, check it, check it, check it, check it. Are you mocking him because he's old? Hey, that's he all my old? dad is. Look, man, I'm, 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 Younger I'm, than I'm, you, I'm man. a huge ageist. Okay, let's chill out. Dance, man. Is everybody in Texas an ageist? No, we're all racists. Well, I knew Not that. All of I said you. ages. Austin. Austin's alright. No, Austin is a very. I think the IQ of Texas racist. just went down. Racist. Austin was hey, good. Think you mean 470, man? Don't hate on Texas. <laughs> well, blame him. I'm Oklahoma. That's kind of my job to do. Blame him, man. Nico was the one giving you guys a bad name. It's Nico that did it. He's bringing down the IQ. <laughs> I hope David Bowie comes back from the grave. Nico, do you have guns on that ship? Zombie David Bowie. No, I I honestly honestly be what surprised. kind of madman puts guns on the explorer? Ship? That would be scary. Hey, I'm not well, crazy. No, I was curious if you could help me prospect these planets because I know you don't have SRVs. Yeah, let me. I... You have the worst fucking memory, buddy. I don't know if you're fucking trolling me because I can't run horizons at this point or not. <laughs> fucking every damn fucking guess. day. Just guess. We have Just the guess. same convo. Well, would you get a better, dude? I'm playing this on a fucking quad core i7 laptop I with a wait, fucking like two year old video card. X core. What? I'm not playing on X core. No, I got a quad core. No, Goose has the X. Ah. Uh... The okay. no the with the eight gigs around. I'm gonna have is an AMD Mashira uh, six four. Even my laptop can run Verizon. So yeah. where do I check what I'm running? running? Look, man, look right beside my laptop. I have a fucking hamster on a wheel. Okay. <laughs> That's what's happening? Stop dodging hamster. my question. What are you running? Where do I check? And from that? the wheel, the hamster's gonna uh, end it's up a on i5 uh, integrated you graphics. And you have the nerve to criticize David oh, Bowie. Oh, that's why. Get your fucking self. Oh, Give I get it. Fucking oh, I get it. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm on a laptop. What do you think about that? Uh, one. Two, yeah, my laptop three. has a graphics card. So I think I only have one core. Card. Is the integrated graphics the 4800 series? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure with the 4800 series, you can actually tweak it to run this. I'm 99% sure. I'm 99% sure that I've literally tried this and I do not Look, feel like having my fucking computer I will, dis I will disable my fucking NVIDIA 2 gig card that's in this laptop just to fucking see if the 4800 onboard will fucking run it. Question. Answer. Where do I check uh, how many how many cores do I have? You go Control, in. Control shift escape. Just yeah, hit control, exactly. log, delete, go to performance, and it'll tell you right there, depending on how many grids there are. No, just delete system, uh, 32, it's fine. 
Mm. Okay, I know. Or you can just look that. at the sticker on front of your computer. If you hit Control Alt Delete, go into Performance, and it'll show you different grids for the. Listen CPUs. to Biped. Never listen to Nico. Intel Core i7 exactly. 54U CPU at 24 or 240 gigahertz. Can't fucking. Believe oh, it's you it's a, it's Bowie. two cores. I have two cores. Okay. Two cores is good. Oh, like no, like I, oh, really? I tried, like I turned everything down. I fucking lowered the resolution as far as it would go, and it still. He wasn't talking about tweaking it. your fucking game. He was talking about tweaking your fucking graphics card. What do you mean tweaking? I don't. Do know I use it with like that. a wrench, or something? Yep, that sounds legitimate. Wait, what? <laughs> tweaking <laughs> or <laughs> How does the Nvidia GeForce 940 stack up? Is it good? Is it decent? That part is a good graphics card. Okay. Yeah, I'm I getting use the uh, 970. I'm getting the uh, 950 on my build. Look, I, I'm pretty sure that any, you get a real any Nvidia card that's a GTX 950 you get a real computer works. I am. This like, is I a have GTX. a build. Like, I'm wait. Look, I, I, I'm not. <laughs> Look, I, 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 <laughs> you're one of the trans users to demanding games. No, I put today. Form, I have a wish list <laughs> built on Newegg. I'm just waiting on my money to when get you wish from upon the a government. Star, I, I'm good. Go and then I'm gonna buy it. Uh, I already uh, have a fucking go, monitor, a keyboard, a mouse. It's go. Go. He's keeping my it's money. Nice. Hey, He's got hey, my hey, computer. Hey, 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 what? Watch it, you. What? Damn, that was redneck as hell. What are you saying, hey, 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 watch it you for? Only one redneck per channel. We already got Nico here, we don't need two. Hey, uh, okay, whoa. Hey. whoa, whoa. Who's qualifies? <laughs> whoa. First hey, of all, that was I hate rednecks redneck. more than life uh, itself. I, I'm g Nico would Nico. move to I Oklahoma and bring five their girls. IQ down. Oh, oh, come on, Nico. Uh, Surely you have your second cousin down your street. No, I fucking. He's uh, fucking his you, second you don't understand the the true hate I have <laughs> for a fucking. Boy, let me tell you what. I'm breaking out my beard. And, and, and I'm telling you, third cousin. Let's no, not even get started let, about the fourth. Every time no, I'm putting fucking. This is gonna. Oh, this is gonna machine, be bad. I get these fucking construction oh, no. hands. Oh, no. Fucking oh, coming at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, how Roll many that shit for free, bird. Oh, this, this is bad. That must be ninety-one percent already. I live in a fucking apartment complex. Oh in this city. man. Okay. Well, can I recover it? So there's lots of. Bowman. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's yeah, a red uh, to uh, fit like 20 people Anybody from Louisiana there? Oh, my, my well <laughs> what the hell <laughs> is happening right now? It's descended into madness. Good. I need someone else to fucking be in this chat that we can just shit on for a moment. Chris is not oh, available. No. That's wishful Good. thinking. Chris is not available. Uh, although if we could get Celestine in here, oh, there you go. That was bad. Oh, we should get him. Somebody fucking invite him. <laughs> just, uh, just come on look, I just oh, want to know good. if educating Ed is on Distant Horizons. Or, dis yep. Distant Horizons? I know. Oh, no, As no, I said no, it, was I was like, that's not remotely what, what it calls. You almost got it. <laughs> oh, oh, I just had shit. How much You're in oh, rare wait, form, Nico. You're in rare form, boy. And then, yeah, and then me, I'm gonna send oh, him this fucking address. And right, we're gonna put him in like, here. Maybe I can get maybe I can get some action out of that. <laughs> I, I need another it. pumpkin spice latte. Oh, this, this is mean. bad. Uh, what? You drink almost, PSLs? Well, almost there. I don't know if we want almost educating there. Ed in here. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling Frontier might be offended. Man, I tell you what, I've been Probably. finding just tons of water worlds. Okay, the fact that you okay, they let's, exist. let's go back. And just, just realize the fact to the that he just about fucking you called it PSLs. What the f happened in your life? What are you? That's the acronym, PSL. Yeah, no, I don't know anybody that calls a pumpkin spice latte PSL. Well, do you oh live on a God. college campus? Probably not. No. Probably written on the top. Man, of your you're not with PSL. it. You're so behind the times. Well, I live on a college <laughs> campus with like twelve yeah, thousand white people. I meant him. No. Oh. Ooh, that must be a good problem to have. Not to mention he hates yeah. Alright, so I got some good news or some bad news depending on who you are. Uh, Celestine is not in the team speak yet at this moment, so... 
Isn't Sotera in there? Sotera? Yeah, no. he he fucking died. Are we getting him? What about Key what? Linux? What? No, Has anybody actually seen a Thargoid? In... Do they have concept art for him? I Sotera think, would not fucking uh... fuck a Thargoid. I think he'd hate us all. No, he'd fuck a Thargoid. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to his privacy and speak to him. Yo, Yo, I need you in here for something super in here. Then I have to give the riff There, I just messed him in there. Oh, have you been getting any new people in here for keys at all? Or are you, are you I don't know, one, one or two today. One or two. Man, I tell you, you go a thousand light years above the galactic plane, you can find so many unexplored systems. Yeah, it's, it's a bunch of neutrons up yonder way. I'm talking about around Sol, it's like... I've run into 15 unexplored water what? worlds so far. What the fuck are you doing in your soul? Yeah, that's my question. Dude, this is distant worlds. This isn't distant fucking let's stay in Seoul. <laughs> okay, let's go back to yesterday. What happened? Oh yeah, I got fried next to a star. I had to go back. Yeah, I remember that Seoul, story. Though. I'm not in okay, Seoul. I've got I'm a thousand light years up, above so... it, and then a thousand light years in front of it there going go, towards Lagoon. I jumped through a red dwarf today. What are you fucking complaining about? Yeah, you didn't bro. bake next to one for 30 minutes. Well, what the hell are yeah. you doing baking yourself for 30 minutes? Sorry, I had to go AFK. You think you're Look, fucking firing or something? I think I'd prefer not to half the people doing. here have been infected with things <laughs> of stupidity. Yeah, I mean, really, come on now. Jeez, yeah, it's just yeah. a personal thing. It Does it involve hand? It evolved what the shit? Shoving your ah, fist that up your whole ass. comment just made me fucking brain fart for a moment. And Tara's in the bottom. Brain is a fart, come on. Yeah, you Charles, can you get Saitara up here? Authorize him? Aw oh, man, don't make me authorize people I shouldn't be authorizing. You don't have to fucking leave a channel, just like a blue right there. Okay, I'm gonna need a Dragon fucking in translator in here for that <laughs> I, shit uh, show. Okay, hold on. Ah, distant worlds. I don't know where else I would be, honestly. User joined your channel. I'd probably be a sad day by now. Oh. Welcome. Hello. User was moved to your channel. Hey. There he is. Hello. There he is. Okay, some permissions have been set up since the last time I was in here. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. Sal said you needed me. Yeah, if you fucked her, we found a Thargoid, did you fuck her? Team scooping. <laughs> like, like, sectionally, or, or put my guns inside of it? <laughs> no, like, <laughs> sectionally, for, for science. If you're no, into what? that. For science. Like, before, after, it, it's for totally science. up to you. Well, I mean, the first thing I would try to do is kill it. And then maybe? No, no, no probably not, but... <laughs> Alright, wrong then the answer, question is, what do you wrong answer, <laughs> wrong answer. He said probably. You are the weakest link, goodbye. Wait, what? No, User was kicked out of your channel. <laughs> 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 Bitch! <laughs> the wrong answer! <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> that's what happens when you give the wrong answers. Jeez. Oh, You're I'm next. <laughs> yeah. On that Sorry. Point, you should be next. Well, if I get kicked for saying the wrong answers, then do I get told I, I, the wrong answers before? I wasn't talking about you. I'm talking Dark about Flash, what do you fucking Thargoid? So what that was the question and what was the answer? Because I was doing something else. The question is, would you fuck what a Thargoid? The answer is yes or GTF. Well, I guess I have to leave then. <laughs> no, you're 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 okay. <laughs> they disconnected. You're too young to fantasize. You already have permission, so you didn't Thank have you. permission, so I had I had a kick for the wrong answer. Uh, <laughs> bye. It was like a good five seconds. 
Ain't nothing wrong. All right, Nico. So you're back on top. Well, I guess Bob will be second now. If you want to think of it, on top, he's second. Well, we still got to get uh, Celestine in here when we find him. And he gets his answer. Until Who is this mystical until he gives Celestine? The right answer. Nico's on top. Don't want to or know. below, however you want to look at it. And he's like biped. How would you describe Celestine? So yeah, I'm gonna stand up for Nico now. Nico's different. I don't like that. <laughs> no. Nico makes Celestine look. I mean, Celestine makes Nico look sane. <laughs> it's not insanity I'm questioning. No. The sense of smartness. Really? Smarticles. They make yes. them dumber? <laughs> Celestine's kind of a... How would I put this You know how there? America... Nico, you know how America isn't number one with regard to anything? Like, you know... Oh, man, I mean, science, yes, Bali, America is, is number next. one, sir. No, okay. no, no, no. We don't it's... score math, science, reading... Uh-uh. It's okay, your please. All right, all what right, Jeff Daniels. Let, stupidity. It's all hey, your fault. Let me sit hey. down on your fucking knee and you tell number, me the story. Number one in oil consumption, so you're wrong. Um, that's actually Saudi Arabia right now. Look, you tell me off the top production. of your head and do not fucking take a moment to look up fucking Google Wikipedia fucking answer. No. What? If you have to Google Wikipedia, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> I can even Africans have that kind of access. Everybody Whoa, knows. Whoa! What the? Oh, 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 Dang! <laughs> you read deep. <laughs> read deep for that fucking that answer. I love it, dude. That's the kind of racist oh, I know in the love rag. right there. <laughs> Did you inhale most of the rag today? Or what's well, well, the thing is, is it's not racist. I used to live in Africa, so. I know. Oh yeah, oh, let me get. Let right. me pull you. Let me because pull your seat up right. and I give you your fucking racist. ticket. <laughs> I was a Catholic. I can tell Kev. Oh, exactly. Dude, don't fucking don't pull that bullshit ass excuse. I I did this, so I'm entitled. Oh, I'm not saying I'm entitled. I'm just saying I lived in Africa, so for me, none of what I just said was racist. But for you, your experience would be very. Oh my god. I feel like you need to have. I, I feel like we should have like HR on Distant Worlds and you should be a, be watching a shitty 80s video <laughs> on racism <laughs> in the workplace. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we all need to watch a video on sexism in the workplace. No, third no, we give that this is not kids. a workplace. Are you sure? Feels like work sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it feels like work anytime fucking Charles is involved. Jump, scan, jump, scan. Uh huh. <laughs> jump, scan, jump, scan, jump, scan, just go scan. I still have yet to get my ship together, so when are we moving? We're, we haven't moved to the next waypoint, have we? Waypoint 2? No, we leave Sunday. I'll just give up now. Wait, today well, is hold Sunday. on. Can someone explain to me? Where are you at putting your ship together? Me? Yeah. I'm roughly halfway there. I've got 10 million and I'm shooting for 20 for my ass. You don't need 20. Okay. To outfit it fully? Uh, no, dude. Up. Like, you're you're actually... You don't Send have to have a, all, the, all the big million. dollar stuff. 20 fucking million is safe cash for an ass. Look, I'll tell That's you the I best... Said. I'll tell you the best person to help you, uh, Biped. He is the tops on helping anybody. I am. He is. I've been doing Ruby Go. He even helped. He even helped Nico. I mean, he really did. He helped to idea, tell me, "Hey, you know? uh, yeah, by the way, dude, Ari left. Here's just to uh, give you an idea yeah, of, of how he doesn't have any night. standards." Fault, I know. He gave you twenty million, Nico. He Wait. gave me what? No, he gave me ten million. Let's not get fucking. Let's not get. There. Could have fucked oh, you fucking like fancy. I did. <laughs> you fucking fancy. You fucking Okay, I don't give up free money. You took Someone 10 million free money. I'm just like, oh, hell yeah. 
Who's the guy who uh, needs the app? Me. Send me your Sorry. build, and I'll tell you how cheap you can get it for. Uh, okay. The ass. It's theoretical asp, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Nico, I'm ashamed of you, man. You took 10 million from Biped? No. Yeah, you, you did. More. You did. That's what it sounded like. Look, man, I wanted to go on this trip, okay? Chill out. Fucking pussy. You should go out and earn it yourself, like a real man. <laughs> what I just uh -huh. linked is roughly what I'm going off of. Roger that. No, no, no. The thing, the thing, Charles, is that Biped was offering 20 million that day. And, and the dummy over here said, oh, no tents enough. <laughs> no, I didn't say tens enough. I just had, I got tired going to sleep. Oh, hold on. Dude, I, I stayed for that 20 million. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Why do you million. have three of these and units? Then, and then a uh, biped needed someone to, you know, empty his fucking cargo hold. The auto fuel like, maintenance? Yeah. No, I would have stayed, man. I, I, I don't know if this is what I found and I was going off. I don't, off I don't, I don't know. You, really were, were, you said that you had enough. <laughs> Okay, you, take off the fire. Did I say that? I don't. What? No. I went there. I told did you not say he had a I, I kind of no, think no that's what I remember hearing. No, no that's not what. No, no, it's because no, no, you had enough for that night. Never fucking like use ED Shipyard, alright? No, I wasn't. No, oi. Never fucking use ED Shipyard. Here, I'll if build you one. If you use ED you. Shipyard, you automatically fall to the level of. No, you automatically start losing your IQ points as much as me. Almost. ED Shipyard. So, so, the hell is so, so if I switch over to something better, does that mean that I instantly gain an IQ higher than Nico? Obviously. Yes. Yeah, here, I'll build one for you and I'll send it to you in a, just give me a minute or two. Okay. I already have a preset for this. Okay, you, you really don't need the 6A fuel scoop. You can go with the <laughs> 6B and do just as well. The 6A is expensive. The 6B is half the price. And just slightly. Channel switched. Phew. Or joined your channel. 
It was getting a little too loud after a, a loud day. Did you leave like an hour and a half ago? No. No, I left just a few seconds ago. Oh, okay, that's me. It's not hour. Hour, because I'm looking at it. <sighs> yeah, I can see your message until I tapped out. No, that's fine. I just sent it to you. Nice. I just, it's been a loud day. I needed to get away from it. Yeah, it just started getting wild in there. I was like, I haven't heard uh, Goose's voice for a while. And I looked in and he was like, oh, he's gone. Anyway, I'm going to grab some water. Cool, I'll be here. Alright, I'm back. 
Yeah, I just flew something like 70,000 light seconds to run down a planet I thought might have been a uh, Earth-like. Sweet. It was high metal content. Oh well, this next one might be. I think this exploration expedition is going to devolve into a race. And nobody's going to keep the, the schedule because everyone wants to get there as fast as possible and get back. That's what I think is going to happen. It's possible. Um, I mean, I've got no reason to race. Sorry, I'm, li I'm listening to the system map trying to determine planets. I don't think that one's got anything special, but I'll have a look at it. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I've got no reason to try to race all these guys. You know, I signed up for a 12-week expedition, so... Yeah, I think there'll be two groups. I think there'll be some, a lot of people that are like, yeah, I'm just here to explore, and... Because that's what it's all about, right? To increase the amount of data on the universe or something, and... But I think there'll be others that just get... It, like, want to get out there and back fast. Yeah, I mean, once we get once we get beyond waypoint five, um, the speed is going to pick up considerably. But for the first wa first five waypoints, they wanted to run it slow, so that the whole crew was kind of running together. You know, and. It may devolve into that, but I think there's still going to be a lot of people, hopefully, that stick to the schedule, you know. And from a from a community standpoint, from a momentous occasion in the game standpoint, I hope that the group stays kind of together because hey, this is kind of a big deal. Yeah, I agree. It's pretty cool. You know, when you signed up for this thing, you were signing up for 12 weeks. You know. It's true, man. And? I got this popcorn maker for Christmas, and I have a bowl of popcorn like every week right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have like a bowl of popcorn every, I've had a bowl of popcorn every night this week now. That was a popcorn maker that I got for Christmas. I love it. Well, I'm starting to play more in open play. Really, I haven't been into a private group since launch. Um, so, I mean, even if the group doesn't stay together, fuck it, you know. I'm, I'm definitely looking to, uh, at least for the trip out, have a wing that I fly with, you know. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. So yeah, that's, that's what I want to happen. Like I don't want to fly solo all the time. Yeah, no, it's gonna be kind of hard to like. 
let's just say you and I wing up because that's kind of what I'm getting at. But you know, yeah, man, it may be kind of hard for us to meet at given times, but you know, at least we're moving together and we're close enough so that when we both get on, you know, one can yeah. wait for the other. Exactly. Or yeah, one one is just sitting around scanning a scanning a system, and the other one jumps over to him or something, you know. That sounds good to me, man. My uh, my other buddy will probably join us too whenever he gets on. Fuck, man! All these highs, metal content worlds. I think Captain Gek. Gector is a pretty cool guy. I think he could be our fourth. Possibly. I mean, I hadn't. I don't think I've seen him since that night. I saw him the other day. He ended up finding a light, so we could actually talk. Nice. Nice. The only, the only concern I have. Um, and, you know, there's no problem, is, I think Gector is, like, 15. Yeah, um, he's pretty young. Yeah, he's pretty young, which doesn't bother me, aside from, let's say, okay, no non-terraformable, alright, too high metal content worlds, boy, this is a wasted fucking travel, but, yeah, I just... I worry about my own tongue <laughs> when I'm around people oh, that, yeah. you know, yo <clears throat> younger true. people. Yeah, you're probably right, man. That could be... It's terrible that we have to think about that kind of thing. Well, I mean, it's terrible that our tongues get that way. But, you know, I don't want to exclude anyone from this thing. You know, it is, it's kind of a big deal. So if if him having a wing is going to help him make the trip, you know. Yeah, I think it'll be worth it. Friendship you know, drive it'll, just, it'll have to be a something I keep in mind. Which, I mean, kids these days, they hear all kinds of shit. You know, but yeah, I don't... Three, I don't want to be one of the ones that he's hearing all that from. You know? Set a good example for the younger generation. But, I mean, there's, there's times when it's, when it's late, when it's tired, you know every other word out of my mouth is a word that shouldn't come out in front of you know, a younger crowd. So, it's just something I gotta, I gotta be mindful of. But yeah, right, I, yeah. I don't have a problem with him. You know? Alright, got a class A star here. Let's see if there's any kind of goodies in this system. I really haven't found anything much good. Yeah, I'm kind of just jumping, and when I find something that I think I'd like to scan, I'll scan it all. But otherwise, I just kind of jump through the boring looking systems. Well, one thing that um, Commander Charles told me, and it has helped because I've picked up a few water worlds, has been to filter my galaxy map to only show certain class stars. Oh, really? That, yeah, the ones that are most likely to have um, interesting planets. And then I set my jump range to fast, uh, fastest, and then I just jump straight to those stars. Yeah, I don't... Wish I was better at recognizing the, the music from this system map. That's just going to come with experience, though. So, if you go into your galaxy map, um, 
and you have to go all the way to the let's see yeah you have to go to the view and go to map and then with filters um, instead of allegiance or government or you have to set star class and he recommended leaving O B A F G K selected but deselect M down. Okay, that's interesting. And I've definitely found more faster, but I'm still not finding like I haven't run across a uh, an earth like yet. Where are you? Jeez. I've uh I've gone on a couple of smaller expeditions before myself, but uh I guess I haven't looked into too much about what the plans were. One of them is like there's terraformable and I've even got plans with life on them, but I don't know if like earth like is the word I would have used for them though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is my first reel going out and looking for stuff. I'm learning so much, you know, out here. Yeah, I should probably read the page and exploration and stuff in the wiki just to bump up. Frameshift drive charging. I can't help but feel a little confident that, you know, I'm probably going to be able to make this trip without any major problems. Because, you know, you hear about... You hear about some of these guys digging around, and I mean, that's really what it is. These guys are just, you know, they're getting bored because we've had, you know, we have a, a weekend layover at this waypoint, so they're dicking around and jumping their SRVs and forgetting to log out so they get too close to the damn sun for too long. You know, there's been several people have to head back to Seoul, but they're being a little careless because, you know, hell, we're right here. Yeah, I think hopefully people will get less careless the further we go out. Well, we'll see. I mean, I have every intention of making it. Now, whether that translates into actually making it is a different story. But I do plan on making it. Yeah, I. that's part of the reason I'm choosing the Type 6 to do it in. It's just because I want to feel, I don't want to skip ahead, you know? I want to feel like I still did a lot with the Type 6 before I moved on to other ships. But, uh, I could have done this in an ass, but probably should have. I'm a little bit, like, realizing I gave myself a cripple, you know, for no reason, but I'm going to have to find a lot more Demponium. I'll probably have to do, like, two size jumps instead of, like, one size jumps, you know? Just other things like that. Well, I mean, you were deciding that you wanted to do it for that roleplay reason of being a traitor, you know. And yeah, it's, totally. It's, it's going to be a fight. Like, I, I would not want to have brought my Type 6 on this. And I had my Type 6, like, I love my Type 6, but I wouldn't have wanted to bring it. Well, another reason is my buddy, who also I'm playing with, he didn't have enough money to put together an ass. That's all he has. He put together like 10 million. And uh, he wanted to do it in a, he's, he's like, that's enough for a Type 6. And the Type 6 is the first thing you can do it to still like land on planets, but you know, because it has enough internals. But it's the first real one with enough internals to be able to do this trip. But I'll just have to, you know, be extra careful. I think the only real difference is the jump range, actually. And I think you guys can land on a little bit heavier planets than I can. I'm kind of cautious about my ability to land on, like, 3G planets or 4G planets. I don't know if I can do that. Well, I mean, if he could get around, I think it's something like 13 million, um, he could probably... Uh, it might be closer to 14 million. He could get into an ASP decently loaded. Yeah, 
yeah, he's already headed out here with me too. So he's in his top six. So because he was going to do it, I was going to do it too. And I was like, that'll be fun. We'll do it together. But we'll see. You know, so we're in the same boat, but we'll be a little harder. Well, you, it'll just take you longer to do your jumps in the populated spaces. But yeah, you guys wanted to seriously load down on Jumponium. And I would say have tons and tons of that material like if, if you guys get to a point where y'all are going to start th having to throw away materials you know or you get full up like I would say because we don't have we don't have any weapons or at least I assume you guys aren't carrying them so I would say you guys have uh, tons of Jumponium materials um, and y'all are going to need some 100 percentiles uh, you know, the, the premium stuff, I think. So, yeah, premium or the second one up, other ones will need to hit 34 plus. Oh, okay. Well, whichever one you need, you're going to need a lot of it. And then, um, you're going to want some SRV fuel, but you won't need enough but to make like four or five because SRV fuel is quick and easy to find generally. And then you're going to okay. want materials for your AFM. Um, you'll want uh, materials to uh, make ammo for the AFM. And I think those three things should be like the three y'all really need. So as y'all. Yeah, yeah. That's as what I've come to conclude as well. Yeah, so as y'all are building, as you guys start collecting this stuff, and supposedly. Uh, Within the next few waypoints, there is a system that is known to have, like, a planet that has all of it. So I would say during that time, you guys double down and really collect up on that shit. And then fill your inventory. But when your inventory is full, um, and I'm not offering this to steal from you you guys can meet me on the planet and jettison some of your inventory from your SRV. Oh, that's and, cool. and I'll scoop it up and hold on to materials for you. Since we're probably, since we're, sounds like we're probably going to wing up. So that you guys okay. can burn y'all stuff. And then when y'all burn through it, I've got more that you guys have, you know, kind of banked in my inventory. Because I'm not going to need a ton of it. I appreciate uh, it. That could, yep. that could be nice. Yeah, I mean, my my jump range is at 34 light years easy, so I really won't. I might need a couple pieces just at the tail end of the journey. I haven't actually <clears throat> tried the stuff out yet. Is it like a one-use off thing? Yeah. One use off, and it'll extend the jump range for that next jump. I'm telling you, that looks like a Earth-like, but I'm not getting any kind of sound from it that would say it was. They say there's supposed to be birds chirping. Oh, huh, that's weird. Oh yeah, back to your 980Ti, dude. Like, what are you running again? Is it is it just Ultra Overkill? That's a water world. That's a guaranteed water world there. Um, what do you mean? What What's your monitor set up? Like, what are you driving? I'm running two uh, 1080Ps. Okay. So, I mean, it's overkill because the 980 can drive, you know, 4K, but, oh, you know, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Any, mostly because I don't want to buy new monitors. These monitors are great. Fuel scooping complete. I picked these oh, up off, I picked these up off my buddy when he was upgrading his monitors, 
and I've had these monitors for three years now, maybe maybe going on four years. Fuel skip Very cool. Yeah. You know, I pay him something like 150 a pop, if that. So, what in the world is slowing me down? So, you know, they've been good. The only the only thing is because I do use one monitor um, consistently as my main monitor, and that's where I tend to run most of my stuff. Uh, over time, the the colors on them have begun to drift. Oh yeah. So one one monitor has better darks, and if it really matters. You know, if I'm watching a movie and I want the best colors, I may have to turn to view the other one and put it on the other monitor. But one's running, the main monitor runs through uh, HDMI, and then the secondary monitor runs through DVI. Very cool. I was going to say, I have a monitor I might, I would recommend to you. I'm looking into like 21 by 9 aspect ratios because having three monitors is just a pain. It's beautiful, but uh, it's just a lot of equipment. And I, I'd say if you're going to upgrade, you should upgrade to like a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I haven't looked at your know, monitors in so long. And honestly, 1080, like, I don't see a need to go beyond that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ten eighty. Upgrade to fourteen forty is a pretty good one though. Yeah, I mean, ten eighty. I'm running on twenty three inch monitors, so at ten eighty, damn it, high metal world. At ten eighty, um, it's you really don't see individual pixels. Yeah, it's still good enough. You said two thirty inches. Two twenty threes. Oh, okay. It's a high metal content world. That's probably a high metal content, but I'll head there. I know the sister, pl it's a uh, binary planet, is a water world. I've picked up on the sound of a water world. It's got a very distinct glug glug in the background. Really? Yeah, uh, I didn't know it. If you, you've got to enable the music in game, like unmute the music. Now you can turn the music all the way off, like yeah, you know, the volume wise, but you need music. You need the music unmuted. Um, and then you have to make sure like the um, the system map music is turned on in the settings and you hover your mouse over the planet and it'll play some music but there will also be sounds in the background of that music and that's supposed to be uh, indicators of what kind of planet it is that's interesting I'll have to try that out yeah, I'm gonna go use, uh, wash my hands off really fast, be back.
So if you confirm that that's a thing, though, dragging your mouse over it is all you need to do. Absolutely. So, like, I'm still trying to identify all the sounds, or what each planet's going to sound like. I've got a lot of them figured out. So, like, the there's a binary planet system I'm at right now. And let me go ahead and log them into Captain's Log real quick. That was a high metal and a water. So, um, I hover over the high metal content world, and I get a little, I get some music, and I'm listening, and I don't hear much, now I got a fan on my computer blowing next to me, let's see. And I'm picking up, picking up kind of a dry wind blowing in the background. Now when I select the, uh, the water world, it plays some music. But have you oh, ever, wow. have you ever heard some, um, you're really not able to tell by the music, but have you ever heard, uh, or watched a movie and they were, and they were deep underwater, and you heard the deep underwater, like, soft, low, glug, 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 of them being deep in the sea. Just kind of... I'm trying to think about what that sound would be. I don't know. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I've got a... I'll have to try it. I think I'll, uh, if I just, uh, sit, listen to it one time, I'll get a feel for it. Well, here's a, uh, here's a thread that I was following to help me locate them. But the water worlds have a very, a very noticeable, you know, glugging in the background, if you will. Now I do know that ice bodies, um, ice bodies have very distinct, um, like a cold wind background sound. Don't know if that makes sense, but it sounds like it sounds like wind that you would hear during a winter blowing.
See, this planet here looks like it should have, looks like its visual says to me that it would be an Earth-like world. But the sound that I'm getting off of it sounds like probably a um, high metal content. Even though it looks like, you know, a planet that has water on it like Earth, it just kind of looks like cloudy Earth with rings around it. Yeah. So I'm going to buzz out and have a look at it anyway, because I, I have yet to find an Earth-like planet, so I don't know what it's going to sound like. I guess I could see if I could find an Earth-like planet in the galaxy map in known space. That hadn't occurred to me. How many uh, frames a second can you get on those monitors? Shit. Nope, that's what I thought. It's a high metal content world. Um, I can pull 60. I think they're rated for 60. Okay, cool. But I'm actually going to buzz in and have a look at this planet, because no joke... It is a pretty planet, though. I should have turned the orbital lanes off. I need to do that. I hate that the orbital lines show up in the debug camera. Yeah, I think that turned out to be a pretty sweet screenshot. Can we set avatar? We can set avatars in here. 
Okay. Yeah, check out my avatar in TeamSpeak. That's uh, a planet I just found. Ice Avatar. Yeah, mine's also a picture of my ship that I took in the hangar. Nice. says first discovered by does that mean they scanned it with uh, the advanced field scanner or man I can't put the planet scanner you know if it's first discovered by then they scanned it with the um, detailed surface scanner I believe or at least some sort of surface scanner Yeah, there's only one type of the surface scanner, but there's, you know, multiple types of the uh, system scanners. Oh, check this out. It says, um, talking about the detailed surface scanner, the wiki page says, the scan will take from 35 seconds down to 15 seconds, depending on the range at which the entity is scanned from. Yes, sir. I didn't, oh man, I've noticed that when I'm further out and I scan it, it takes forever. From now on, I guess I'm going to get closer. Yeah, because I felt that before. I, I wasn't sure if it was true or not.
Yeah, the wiki page doesn't specify which scanners you need to use to get the discovered by thing on the page. One thing that's really nice about being this far out of uh, habited space is that my frame rate is just so much higher now. My ship seem to be turning. All right, I gotta see how that one turned out. If I was in solo play, I would have taken that one at a 4K resolution. Oh yeah, oh. I gotta be in solo for that. Oh, that is nice. I gotta send this shit to you. Cool. Alright, so here's the screenshot that was my avatar. Man, I just emergency dropped you to the sun. Whoops. Ooh. I was scooping, you know, just normally, but I guess I shaved that too close. I don't know. That's kind of weird. I didn't get up to my normal scoop percentage. Scoop rate. Alright, and then that second one is the one I just took. Okay, that one's awesome.
That one is fucking good. Well, I thank you. I was fairly satisfied with it. I'm going to start heading back to Shapely 1 here shortly. How far from Shapely 1 are you? Or are you just slowly moving forward? Yeah, I've been slowly moving forward. I'll probably check out one or two more systems and then... Start heading back to uh, to Way Camp Waypoint One. Okay. Friendship drive charging. I had to use my first hit team. Had me as what? Had to use my first heat sink. Ah. Friendship drive charging. Because I was uh, right next to the sun when I dropped, and it was heating up too much. Do you shut down all the internal systems you could? Yeah. Four. Yeah, that's what you tend to do too. Two, like, one, turn up the engage. I have experimented with actually shutting down the thrusters, which you need thrusters to get up to speed for the jump, but shutting them down until the FSD is just about charged and turning them on right at the last second. No real results to be had yet, but... Yeah, that's intense. Yeah, the only thing, for whatever reason, we can't refill heat sink modules. That would be so nice if we could, though. With mineral, with materials to find our planets. Shit, I forgot to add in the uh, bodies from that last system. I think it was too high metal contents in that last system. Alright, let's see what we got happening in this system. Absolutely nothing. Not a damn thing. Those gas giants are way too far out to try to get kind of a screenshot off of. Actually, gotta look up base uh, base camp one. Is that the Lagoon Nebula or Shapely? Shapely. That was uh, base camp one. Was our first waypoint. I need to see how far away from it I am. Oh, that's not bad at all. 
I'm only 500 light years away from it. I thought I'd gotten further than that. Five hundred yet light years, man. Fuel sweeping like complete. Half the distance of Shapely. <laughs> yeah, from half the space there. Yeah. Man, I hit four brown dwarfs in a row. Fuel I can't do another one or two of these. I'll be, I'll be screwed if I do. So what do you do for this? Go into the galaxy map and find a sun that is not purple. Oh, you looking for a star you can refuel off of? Yeah. So if you go to the galaxy map. And then under the map panel, or the view, excuse me, the third tab up top, there is the... Star class. Yes, star class. That's what you talked about earlier, yeah. Yep. And basically, you can refuel off of M, uh, KGB foam. So you can, you can refuel off of M as well, but for exploration, um, Charles recommended M down, deselect. Drive and that'll let you, you'll still see the jump lines to stars that are filtered out, but you'll only actually see stars of those types. So, uh, OB, all of the, you know, everything above M on the list? Yeah. Cool, thank you. What? There is nothing in this system. Alright. Come on. I want one more system to check out. That's fucking got something. So, uh, do we only know what, what these stars, the different stars are because someone's explored it? Um, no. We know what they are just because. Alright. I mean, we're able to tell the type of star um, of stars in our galaxy from Earth because of um, because of the light that they emit. Now, of course, that light is redshifted, but when they, you know, take into account redshifting and, um, you know, look at the light, the spectrum, they can tell what class star it is. I didn't know until, I didn't know this until probably a year ago, but, um, you can reflect refract the light that is coming from a source and through a prism and if you can refract it enough um, that you can like you can spread it out enough so you can see the lot the uh, the transition through the colors that make up that light source um, then there are wavelengths that are left out so like if you take if you split, like you see the rainbow, that's what that prism's doing. It's giving you a rainbow effect, but there'll be there'll be sections missing from that rainbow. Oh yeah, cool. And that the sections that are missing are based on um, the atomic makeup of whatever. Uh, whatever atom that photon came from. Well, that's pretty neat. Right? I guess right. so. We can tell you 
what chemicals are are in the are in, chemicals yeah in the like area. what what the atmospheric makeup is what surface makeup is um, you know what a star is what what's fueling a star based on that shit yeah it's French some pretty impressive stuff. Talking. So right now you're up in Freya E U U F W F C C fourteen dash three. Uh, I assume so. I'm, I'm actually dump, uh, jumping from there to tack zero. make this my last exploration for tonight because I gotta start making my way back. Ooh! And it's a good system. 41 astronomical objects. Nice. Let's just hope they're not around another star in the system. Alright, K-Class. Uh, no, a lot of them are right here. All right, let's see what we got. Pfft, mostly gas giants. Shit. All right, well, let's see what this one is. That looks like... Regardless, I'm scanning that one. That's, that's a cool-looking planet. What is this? Just a gas giant. That's a nice world. That's a nice world. Alright, let me check out this one planet. That did not look like 41 objects. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Where are the other objects? I could have... Uh, maybe they're all asteroids. Could, or asteroid belts. Yeah, it could be, but only two are showing up. Yeah, only two show up, but each of them have like 10 asteroid belts within them. Uh, okay. Alright, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, fuck that noise. Yeah, because for mining, that's how I keep going that. Well, also just starting off the game, you had the same question. Yeah, but like when most people mine, you have like one after a belt that's all pristine, because there's like ten of them, you know, that you can go to. Dude, I'm sorry that I don't remember mining with you back wherever it was we were mining. Oh, uh, it's all good. I remember trying to tell you to get like a second lift collector, and I was like. Really, you should do it. And you're like, I like doing this. It's my speed. Okay. I don't think limpet collectors were in the game when I was mining. Disengaged. That or they oh. were and... I, weren't you just mining like within the last couple weeks? No. Oh, never mind then. I, I guess it must have been someone else. <laughs> okay, what? Well. I must have confused you with someone else. <laughs> that, that's fine too. I, I don't want to collide with that world. That's the last thing I want to do. Well, that's fine. We sh we've struck up a friendship out of it anyway. No, I quit yeah. playing for, um... It's been six months or so. I've Six or eight months. I haven't played in a while. And, um... I just came back like a week and a half ago. Okay, that makes sense because the guy I was with there was just learning the game, just got in when he bought Horizons, you know, when it was released, and that's when he started. But uh, I, I thought that you were that guy, and I was like, man, you've learned so much since you came since then. <laughs> that makes that's what I've been thinking to myself. It's like, damn, this guy really did his homework. 
No, I've been playing for yeah. a minute, but I just took a break. Alright, yeah, high metal content. Yeah, thanks for that tip about the stars, because I can just leave it that way now, and whenever I go to my Galaxy app, I instantly know where I can refuel. Yeah. Are, is that the same list of stars for, that likely have Earth likes on them? Yes. <laughs> no is, way. Is, well, that is that what, that's according to Charles. So. I think there's a wiki on that. Let me. I should look that up. Oh man, I do not. How many jumps out am I? Holy freak, man. I do not like having just 20 tons of fuel, man. I hate it. Wait, you're flying with like a an 18 ton fuel tank? I'm playing with a 16 and a 4. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, I heard people saying cutting it down a size on the fuel was not a good charging. idea on the ass because it consumes so much fuel every jump. Well, apparently, supposedly I'm not the only ass pilot that did it. I wasn't going to do it, but after being around the other ass pilots and they were talking you know, about the builds and all, I was like, well, okay, I guess 20 tons will be enough. I mean, 20 tons, if I had to, I could take an economic route and get a lot more out of it, because as your jump range grows, your fuel rate, the you know, amount of fuel you consume, goes up that much more. Uh, no, I cannot fuel off this star. Hate those stars that look like an M-Class, but you can't fuel off of them. Yeah. Let's see, I'm about to jump 33.4 light years here. Frameship drive charging. There's there's plenty of fuelable stars around me, it's just the fastest route is taking me elsewise. And yeah, I had to well the reason for running the lower fuel tanks on the ass was mostly for the tail end of the journey. Um, when we get into the kind of extreme end of the galaxy. Oh, you dropped a weight, that's why. Yeah. That's how you got 34. I was like, I wonder how you got 34 because my ass is only, it gets like 33.6. So I'm like, huh, 34, that must have been hard to squeeze that in there. How'd you do that, I wonder? That makes sense. Oh, baby, there's two stars in this system. Binary, and they're sitting on top of each other. Guess I'll scan them. Man, I hate, like, running into non fuelable stars all the time. This is going to make this trip kind of difficult. Because I have my thousand years light year jump planned out. I'm just hitting systems that I don't really want to scan. And then all of a sudden, and then I keep having to redo the route to go find a place to refuel. This sucks. It's a T Tari star. Nothing special about that, I suppose. Where did the other star go? There it is. Another T Tari. Can I scan that last one from here? I can. Yeah, I figure I'll do this trip in the Type 6, and if I'm like that much into this game, I'll appreciate, you know, when I actually get into an Asp and then an Anaconda and exploring those two, the difference that it made. 
Oh, so, yes. <laughs> that's why I'm, uh, you know, it's for later game enjoyment, I think. Well, I will say the uh, the jump distance between the Type 6 and a ass. I mean, what's your biggest jump range right now? Uh, 26.6. That's not terrible. Yeah, it's actually just fine, I think. I calculated it out. And 60,000 light years means 2,400 jumps in a Type 6. It, you know, uh, it's uh, going to, yeah, it's going to be a lot more jumps than that, because... Uh, yeah, I'm saying just a... Uh, just straight just line, yeah. Yeah, because we're not going to go the straight line. Frank we're not going to do 26.6 light years every single time. So, but, you know, if I did, if we did, it'd be 2,400 jumps. But if I went with my ass loadout, it would have been 2,050. So I would have saved, you know, 350 jumps, which is actually, like, quite a lot of three hours of gameplay, but also I'm looking at it as, you know, I'm here to, like, gain, scan stuff anyway, and I get money for that, so, you know, those, that's what I'm doing anyway. Well, supposedly there is a guy doing this in a Sidewinder. Yeah, I saw that. He just wants to be that guy. Yeah. Which, if he can be that guy, all for him, man. That's pretty cool. Uh, but there's no way you can because you don't have mod internal modules enough for like jump podium and stuff. Or I mean, because you have to have a hangar bay to jump podium, and that means he's gonna have to give up like maybe an auto field maintenance unit. I don't know. Dude, I don't know. But if he can do it, dude, fucking go for it. There's no way because you have to have you have to have an auto field maintenance unit. You have to have the hangar bay, you have to have two scanners, uh, you need a shield, There's a, that's already five modules, There's, it doesn't have that many. Uh, well, he may not be doing stuff. scanning along the way, he may just be going out there to go out there. Yeah, that is crazy. You know, I mean, if, if he can pull it off, dude, fucking power to him. But he's gonna need to be able to, uh, scan so he can find worlds to land on to get Jemponium and restock a single auto field unit. No, he does not he does not necessarily mm. he could run without an auto field unit. It'd be dangerous but he could do it. He would have to have a planetary approach suite and he would have to have a hangar so he could get the Jemponium. But basically, the only thing that he has to have are the planetary approach suite, a discovery scanner. Has that have a surface scanner? Just a discovery scanner. So the planetary approach suite, the discovery scanner, a hangar. and shields for safety on landing. And the only reason for the hangar so he could get the jump onium. Fuel scooping. Uh, one of the guys from the Mobius group just came on. He'd be another one. That'd be a good group for us. I think he's on this with us, this trip. I can hit him up and see if he uh, wants to join. Talking about DMC rules? Yeah. Yeah, he added me at some point. Engaged. 
frameshift drive charging. There must be asteroid belts, yeah. See, the heat in my, since we were talking about heat before, the heat in my ASP is actually really good. I'm uh, rolling around in Super Cruise right now, and I'm getting away from the stars, so my temperature's still dropping, but I'm sitting at 25% heat right now. Now I'm down to 23%. Yeah, 23% heat. Twenty one percent. Okay. But whenever I jump I never go over sixty percent heat unless I'm close to a star and picking up extra heat from it. Yeah, it's really nice. Four, three, two, one, engage. You're gonna love getting into an ass for the time jumps. Yeah, that's what I've been playing normally, and I usually got exploring in it, but I just like I downgrade it just to come on the strip. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm running right now. Is that for just like a three? It and for mining. It's just great perfect for everything. Oh. Do some pirating in it, some mining in it, some trading in it, some missions in it. Does it all. That's a K class. Good news is I can refuel off of it. Fuel scooping. Always makes me a little nervous ducking in so close to the sun to get my fuel scooping sped up. Normally wouldn't bother me in inside the bubble, but yeah, right. That's what I was doing. Fuel scoop disengaged. Each night, emergency drop in, into the sun. I just got a little too close. I thought I was fine. Well, this fuel scoop is capable of getting up to 502 a second, so when it comes to safety, I don't mind hanging out around 300. You know, my fuel tank's small enough, it doesn't take forever to refill it. Charging.
must be a small star. How many more jumps do I have? Twelve? I need to change my hood colors, I just haven't taken the time to do Fuel it. Scooping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I prefer blue as my primary hood color. Fuel scooping complete. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameshift drive charging. Try to get back to the waypoint, but I don't know. What's your reason for wanting to go there? Huh? Why go to the waypoint? Why not just go straight to the lagoon from where you're at? Uh, just to kind of stick with the fleet. They really are okay. not. All the guys on the channel the other day when I was on seemed to have already been like way far out, like way ahead. And they're welcome to, you know, I'm going to, at least for now, I'm going to stick with the itinerary. Yeah, that's good one. I mean, if I came out here to race, I'd be at, like past Sag A by now. I think the guys will probably slow down a bit once uh, once we get out, you know, past waypoint five. Like I, said, I think these guys are just used to going, like having a destination, having a you know their their own goals and such and. I think a lot of them feel slowed down by this itinerary. Oh yeah, sure. You know. So we'll see. You know, who knows, the whole damn thing may fall apart by halfway through. Twelve weeks is a long time. Frameship drive charging. See what we've got. Dag gum, that's a big old sun.
Fuel scooping complete. Fuel scoop disengaged. Oh, man. Ten more jumps. What time is it? Two thirty. I wasn't planning on being up anywhere near this light. Four, three, oh yeah, I need to go two, back. One, engage. Yeah, I'm going to church in the morning. Nice. What time is that? Um. I think the service I go to starts at 9.45. Okay. Forty-eight objects. Oh, man. I don't think I've seen a plant. Eh. No. No. I think that's just a gas giant. Fuel scooping. Engaged. I wish fucking Twitch and YouTube weren't so sensitive on music being played because tell you what, it gets boring without the radio playing in the background. Wait, who's sensitive about music being played in the background? Twitch and uh, YouTube. They scan your video files for the audio lines, checking for copyright material. So you can't like have a soundtrack of your choosing in the background? I thought you did. I can for the live stream, but once it gets archived, and I guess if it happens too much, I guess there would be consequences. But yeah, so, so they, they won't archive those then. Although I mean it's archived, but they mute like Twitch muted a small section of my first video, YouTube muted the entire audio track of my first video. Friendship yeah. I know a lot of uh, Hearthstone guys uh, stream some music as they play and talk, but I guess they're all about making money to professional Hearthstone Four, streamers. Three, two, one, engage. So it doesn't matter if it's archived or not, they probably don't care. I don't know.
fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameshift drive charging. scooping. Engaged. Frame shift drive charging. Frameship drive charging.